All right, so we're uh, on the inside here in the front corner, um, getting ready to cut in one of the access doors. So I've got the, the, the particle board all cut out. This is a 14 by 14 door. Uh, so I cut out the space for that. And I've drilled a hole from the inside to the out so I can index that on the outside to see where I am. And uh, now we'll go outside and have a look at that. And of course, like always, it starts raining as soon as I get out here, but uh, it's raining lightly. We're just gonna keep going. So anyway, you can see uh, right down here, that's that hole I marked from the inside that indexed me and uh, gave me the spot where I need to be coming out. And I did triple check that before I drilled the hole just to make sure everything would work out well here. Um, these screws on the existing diamond plate, there's one right there and one right there. Those tell me where the studs are on the inside too, so I know I was between those. Um, got my door here, double check that. All we gotta do now is to start cutting a hole. So I'm gonna use that saw and see what happens. Okay, so I set it in place the uh, first time here and I had to I had to trim out just a little bit along this top edge here just because it was hitting the hinges a little bit. So I got that done and let's set it up in place here. One handed a little tough here. So it fits in there real nice all the way around. Um, the only problem I found is right here where I've got this uh, screw holding the um, diamond plate up which is a little bit in the way. But not a huge problem because I found out on this uh, door, you know, it's got these mounting holes where you can mount it um, to the surface here, and I really don't like that. I don't like holes in the, in the surface. Just don't like that look. I'm gonna actually take that little flange, that, uh, that entire part right there is gonna go away. And what I'm gonna do is from the inside, I can just hook it on you know, right through here, like uh, nail it through the, the inside flange instead. It's going to give it a lot cleaner look, I think, and it's going to solve that problem of that screw being in the way, which I didn't really want to move and then make another hole. So I'm going to go down uh, on the table saw and cut that piece off there, file it down, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I've got that uh, frame all trimmed off now. Got all that uh, extra material off there, and I've got some butyl tape that I've stuck on here, peeling off the backing on that. This stuff is nice because it never hardens up; it just stays a, a nice seal pretty much forever, or at least they claim that. Oh, I've also removed the the door panel off here just to make it easier to work with too. Anyway, that slides right in there now at this point. Use these clamps to compress the butyl down. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And I'm fastening this down with these uh, these are meant to fasten actually wood to metal, but uh, they're self-drilling. I've been using them for all the studs and everything inside, but uh, they really go into this material nicely.
All right, just like that. Just got to put the door back in.